Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad and Queen. Jolene's on the camera and we're outside. We're going to weld the quarter panel on. And what I'm going to say about welding the quarter panel on is we've just made it. We do not want to warp it. And when you warp something, you must realize it's, it's just like getting it into an accident. You have to fix the panel that you've gotten an accident with. Exact same thing goes on when you warp the quarter panel. So we've made the quarter panel. If I warp it, that means I have to fix it. That means the car has been in an accident. I have to do something, hit it, hammer it, push it, weld it, do something to fix it. If you follow my simple rules when we go in and weld the quarter panel on, you will have great success. If you veer away, that's up to you no you know no questions asked but we are going to weld the quarter panel on and not warp it if you want to be able to do the same i'm giving you the answers to the test let's let's go in and go for it i quickly just want to explain the welder settings that i'm using and the wire i'm using i'm on a d that's the highest highest heat that a 140 mig pack lincoln welder can go is, is on the d and i'm on an eight for wire feed um, what I'm what I'm hoping for is or what I want is is for to melt the metal really quick so I can get out quick I do not want to stay there for a long time to melt the, melt the metal one two three and then I'm on the air um, if you stick to that process and go six inches apart every time so if I well one two three air six inches away one two three air six inches away one two three air i know that i'm penetrating i've got because i've got it on high heat and i know i'm not going to warp it because i have the air with me to bring the heat down when i put the spot weld on the quarter panel i have one little to start when i'm butt welding that on there's probably a 16th gap sometimes an eighth um, it's hard on that heat to not burn through so what I do is when I get one started, I make sure that I start the tip of the welder right on halfway on top of the first dot that I've started, one, two, three. That way I'm not burning through and then I can take off and carry on using the hose. As you watch me weld this on, I'm using 023 wire. And if you stick to this process that I'm showing you, I'm giving you the answers to the test. If you stick to that process, you can weld a complete quarter panel on with no warpage, uh, as you can see.
So this is when you've built a brand new quarter panel. This is how you weld it so you do not warp it. All right, that's what I want to do. And we come down and take a look at the side of it. Come down and take a look at the weld there. Uh, when you do not want to warp the quarter panel that you have just made, as you watch me do it with the air hose and the welder, take it if you like it, and if you don't, throw it away. interesting view on the inside too as we're butt rolling. You want to know if you're penetrating you know you with the air hose, you're not going to catch it on fire either. I hope not to. I hope not to. Good penetration. That's pretty good gap going on there. It's at least 15. So it's pretty good gap, so that's why I'm only doing one, two, three, because I'm afraid I might burn through. And it helps out keeping the air there full time. That way, there I won't warp anything. Destroy anything I've just made. a little bit. Nice to be able to sit down well, to be honest with you. You're getting a the shot there, ain't you, baby? you 
see light is where it's not welded. this on so when it comes to butt welding this on there is that gap I've got the welder turned up on D I got it really really hot so it's just one bang and it's on it's on the highest temperature you can get it's a 140 pack but we are at the highest temperature you can get and I'm welding this floor pin on I am not working it but if in order for me to weld it up and not punch holes through it with the welder I have to start I have to start my wire on the edge of halfway on top of the one I just had done. So it's one on half of that, so let's go through it. Put one down, then we'll put halfway on top of that one. Halfway on top of that one. And then I do not burn, burn through, I have meat. So I'm gonna pull this off, take a look at it. You can, you can almost see how I overlap them on top of each other so there's nothing showing or going through. Just make sure that I lap them all the way along. And the reason I'm leaving it all, you know, spotted like this, because I do not want to warp it. I want to make it straight. I made the quarter panel, or me and Doug made the quarter panel. Now I want to keep it so it's from warping. You know, that's one flat sheet of 18 gauge. It's not connected down the bottom yet, but, you know, let's face it. A lot going on here. I don't say a lot, but... Anybody that fixes cars or works on cars, if I warp the quarter panel, oil can it, move it, move it, move it, move it make it all flimsy and stuff. It's not connected, obviously. Thought it wouldn't do that. But if I warp the quarter panel, it's the exact same thing as getting into an accident and someone smashed up your front fender. And the reason being is the only way to fix it is to fill it, sand it, and paint it. Um, unless you're buying a new fender or a new quarter panel, which on a 56 Plymouth, I don't even think you can buy quarter panels for this car. You might be able to buy a patch panel, but we've made the whole thing front to back. Um, to warp it would be devastating to a body man. So it's something that you're making. Um, you would not want to wreck it before you fix it, <laughs> basically what's going on. And when you warp it, it's like smashing your car. Didn't get that far. I had to overlap it on that hole, or that big spot there where I was down through. And I don't want to burn through, so I just overlap it really tight, as you can tell. I'm going to get right to it. If I don't, the heat's got time to take off. You just have to think if someone put a head of lighter up to your arm, how fast you would take off. Exact same thing what's going on with the metal. Quicker I cool it off and make sure that everybody knows it's okay. The better the metal will be. 
And that'll make me happy. Yeah, we're all still loose down here. That's where things are going, bang and stuff like that. As soon as I tighten that up, you see what happens. That fly is attacking me. Got the quarter panel all welded up all the way along. It's butt welded on, got all the metal pulled away from the back side. Um, you watched me weld it up. You didn't get to watch me grind it off, but I used a 36 grit. You can see that right there, 36 grit. Um, I, I don't know what short kind of wheel you would call that, sanding wheel, 36 grit. And I generally just like to sand the weld that we have. And the reason being is I have nothing against that metal and nothing against that metal there. But we have got it welded all the way on from the front to the back. We got a little bit to do down to the seam, but we got it all the way around the gas cover door and all along the back. I did manage to get this piece cut off. You watched me cut the inside piece off, but we got this piece cut off. That was a piece down there. And then we got the piece in and around the gas door cut off like we cut it off before. So everything is butt welded on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the quarter panel or get it prepared for a filler, a primer, or whatever, a f whatever. I'm going to scratch it up and get it ready. I'm going to use the Contour SCT machine here. It does a fantastic job. And uh, I like to use it because it makes it look nice. But I've got it ground off and I'm going to clean it up. on this rig and the reason being is just like coloring a picture when you were in elementary school uh, the one that went all the same way usually got the the sticker and the one that went all different kinds of ways they got a good job
Uh, looks real good. That's the, Con the Contour SCT. Got it from the Eastwood Company. We'll just take a look at that for a minute. Just take a look at it. Just get a nice view of it there. Joanne can get a nice shot of it. Uh, the weld is not ground all off because I do not like to do that. I can. I butt welded it on. I can, but I'm not into that. It's going to have to be filled out anyways. So I do not mind leaving a little bit on. So if we go to the other side. So this is more or less what we had to start with. We had a patch over top, which they did the best they could. And I'm not knocking them whatsoever. They did an excellent job on doing what they did. Um, I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. We got a few bronze patches up here that are going on. You can see them going on here. We got a whatever. Uh, it was starting to blister and, and come off. The, the filler was starting to fail. So we went from this. As you can see, we butt welded it on from yesterday to this. And I'm saying there's probably, it's a probably an eight hour application. And uh, I'm happy with that because I've got all new sheet metal to work with. And, and I think anybody would be happy with that when you cannot buy something for this car. Um, it's, just, it's just the quarter panel. There's still stuff, still work to be done on the inside, but I want to make the outside look good so I can build the work from the inside to the outside and still have it look right. Like, share, comment, come back tomorrow and we'll be here.